First floor, I was waiting for a nigga on Pluto. So why on earth would I be waiting on you for? I got a bad girl like every day. Nighttime, mouth look like a sunny day. I'm in the new What's up, my loves? Day. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle, and today's video is gonna be a tutorial, but it's gonna be a little different because I'm gonna be using all of my all time favorite makeup products to create this look right here. So I'm pretty sure one of you guys actually requested that I do a full face using all of my favorite makeup products. So this is it. This is like my typical look that I would go for, honestly. I'm living for it and I'm pretty sure I've done a look very similar to this in the past. But I just wanted to sit down and show you guys what my favorite products have been as of lately. So yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below. And with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. So to start things off, I'm going to spritz my face with some of the Mario Badescu facial spray. When I had dry skin, I used this stuff religiously. And even though my skin is now oily, I still love to spritz it on. It's always important to make sure that your skin is nicely hydrated and I just love spraying this on my face at all times of the day. Now to prime my skin, I'm going to be using this bad boy right here. As you can see, this is a well-loved product. This is the Guerlain Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Primer. And I don't actually feature this on my channel too much because it is a very expensive product. But honestly, it is one of my favorite primers ever. I don't know what it is about it, but my skin seems to really love the gold that's in it. Like, trust my bougie ass to love the gold that's in this primer. Honestly, when I run out of it, I definitely will repurchase it because it makes my makeup last like crazy. So yes, you totally would have guessed it. I'll be using the When Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I almost like didn't want to use this because I've been using it in so many videos of mine lately. But honestly, this is hands down my favorite foundation of all time. Set aside the fact that it's a drugstore foundation, it's just an overall great foundation. But the fact that it's only six bucks is like the cherry on top. Honestly, the way that it sits on my skin and the finish that it gives is just I'm in love. So if you guys are wondering, the shade that I'm using is Golden Beige, and I usually just like to use my dampened beauty sponge to blend it into my skin. I'm sure you guys can notice that I have this really angry <laughs> uh, pimple on my jaw right here, but the foundation has somewhat disguised it a little. So moving on to correcting now. So to help disguise my dark under eye circles, I'll be using this bad boy right here. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, but it is a peachy toned corrector. So I love to use this underneath my eyes. I love this product. It's super easy to apply, super easy to blend. Plus, it's drugstore, guys. Like, it's super inexpensive as well, which is just another cherry on top. So what I usually do, as you can see, is I will just take a swipe to each eye and then go ahead and blend that out. I like to use the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. I'm looking a little bit crazy right now, but I'm gonna move on to concealing that area. So I'll be using this right here. This is my favorite concealer of all time, guys. The MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. If you guys are wondering, the shade that I like to use is NC20. And this this is in fact like my daily concealer. This is what I use on the days when I choose to wear makeup, when I'm not filming and whatever. This is my go-to. I know that the applicator is a little bit tedious to work with, but it's for what it is, like I'm not really bothered by it. So what I do is take a little pea-sized amount to my finger, rub my fingers together, and then I go ahead and apply that underneath my eyes. And then whatever is left goes along the other areas that I want to kind of brighten as well. Now to set all of that concealer in place, I'll be using my favorite setting powder. This is the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. I love this stuff. Honestly, guys, I experience no creasing underneath my eyes when I set my concealer with this stuff. No matter what concealer I use, this powder saves the day. And then to set the rest of my face, I'll be using the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. The shade that I use is Petal and I honestly, I was super late when it came to jumping on the bandwagon for this powder because I know so many people already love it and I recently decided to give it a go and I'm honestly obsessed like I wish I had bought it sooner because I'm absolutely in love I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face a little later but I'm going to get started on the eyes now so I'm gonna prime them first with the Mac soft ochre paint pot you guys know that I love this eyeshadow primer I feel like it works with multiple different eyeshadows if not all of them because it makes 
them look absolutely amazing. And I will be using the Jaclyn Hill palette today. So this plus that, they go together like a dream. Of course, I gotta set that base in place. So again, I'll be going in with the Astralis Ready, Set, Go finishing powder. It's always important to set the base because you wanna make sure that the eyeshadows that you apply over top blend and apply smoothly. Alrighty, so I did mention earlier that I was gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I'm gonna start things off with this shade right here. This is Creamsicle and honestly, this is probably my favorite shade out of the entire palette. Like as soon as I received this palette and I opened it up, my eyes instantly gravitated towards that. And you guys know that I'm definitely more of like the glowy shimmery kind of eyeshadow type of girl. But that eyeshadow color, like just, it killed me. Like I honestly was obsessed from the moment I saw it. So as you guys can see, I'm just applying that through the crease of my eyes. I'm using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush, just running that back and forth through the crease. And this is going to act as my first initial transition shade. Next up, I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here. This is Buns. And I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. And what I'm gonna do with this is apply this to my crease as well but I'm going to not blow it out as far as I did with that creamsicle shade. This is just to further define the eye and deepen up the crease a little more. Now for my all over lid shade, I'm gonna be using this one right here. This is Little Lady. I love all of these shimmery shadows in this palette, but I'm using this one in particular today because I feel like it matches with the color of my top the best. So I'm just using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader and I'm just going to go ahead and pack that all over my lids and blending it up towards the crease. Now for the outer corner of my eyes, I want to keep it fairly warm. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is Mocha and I'm using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Define Up. Now what I'm going to be doing with this shade is ever so slightly blending it on the outer corner of my eyes and kind of making it form a sort of V shape just so it really helps to define that outer corner. So the lids are looking pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on that bottom lash line. So I'm going to be taking the Cream Circle shade yet again and I'm using the Zoeva 23A Luxe Pencil Brush and as usual, I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke this out along my bottom lash line. All my makeup brushes are like stained from a previous makeup look that I did, so it might look like that I'm putting a different color on my lid, but trust that I'm not. Anyways, to finish off the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the shade Mocha again. And yeah, I'm just using the Sigma E30 pencil brush. What I'm gonna do is, again, smoke that along my bottom lash line, but I'm not going to blow it out as far as I did with that creamsicle shade. I'm purely keeping this much closer to the lash line and that will really help to define the eye. My favorite part is coming up guys. I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye and my brow bone and I'll be using this shade right here, Beam. I'm obsessed, you guys. This is another shadow that made me fall in love with this palette. So I'm using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. And yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna pack that on on the inner corners of my eye and also highlight my brow bone with it. Now for mascara, I'll be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Not only is the packaging on this absolutely stunning, but the formula of this mascara honestly makes it one of my favorite mascaras that I've ever used, like ever. I honestly thought that this product was a little bit gimmicky, which is why I never opted to buy it. But then when they came out with this limited edition packaging, you know your girl kind of fell for that. So I was totally glad that I did buy it because honestly, I love the formula of this mascara. I'm gonna apply some falsies now so you guys know these are my absolute favorite lashes of all time. I can't stress that enough. These are the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. They're honestly the most flattering, wispy, dramatic eyelashes that I've ever used. Like I wouldn't use these for an everyday kind of look, but if you want to amp it up a little, then these are the must have lashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those. And the lash glue that I love to use is the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive. I nearly forgot about this part. I won't be like lining my eyes, but I do like to tight line them because I feel like that really helps to blend the lash line in with the lashes if that makes sense. So I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liner Pencil. This one is in the shade Perversion, which essentially is just their black eyeliner pencil. So the eyes are done. Now I can move on to finishing off the rest of my face. So I'm firstly gonna go into this shade right here from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. It is called Subconscious, and I'll be using the Models Prefer Contouring Brush to go ahead and contour my jawline and my cheekbones and my nose. 
Can I just say that my nose is looking intensely snatched right now and I'm obsessed with it. But anyways, moving on to bronzer, I'm going to use my all-time favorite, of course. You guys know that I love this stuff. This is the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. And as you can see, I pretty much hit pan, like I'm still kind of scraping around at the edges, but for the most part, I've used this up. So that just shows you guys how much I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face up. I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. And I'm pretty much just gonna run this over my cheekbones and around my hairline, just the perimeters of my face, because honestly, your girl loves to be bronzed. Now when it comes to blush, to be honest, I don't really have a favorite blush because I don't use blush on an everyday basis. What I do is I like to take a shimmery bronzer and run it over my cheeks. So this is the one I use right here. This is the Balm's Betty Luminizer. And basically, as you can see, it's just a really shimmery gold bronzer. So I like to take that on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back towards the hairline and I just use the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush to do so. Now when it comes to highlighter guys, my favorite part of makeup application is definitely highlighter and you guys know I have tons of favorite highlighters within my collection so when I was sitting down trying to figure out which one I wanted to use for this video I honestly couldn't pick because I have so many favorites so I just decided to go with the one that I use pretty much every single day on the days when I'm not filming and when I have to wear makeup this is my go-to. So this is the Oh Darling highlight from MAC. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is still available. I do know that I bought this when it was limited edition like two years ago, but I was hearing things that they bought it back or they are bringing it back. But yeah, guys, this has been well loved. This is like my go-to, as you can see in the pan. Like it's, it's destroyed, but I love it. And it's lasted me for ages. So this is definitely my everyday highlight and it gives just the right amount of glow, I feel. So naturally, the brush that I like to use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. And of course, I just go to town with it. So I put it on my cheekbones, the tops of my cheekbones, also above my brows and a little on my nose, on my cubes bow, pretty much everywhere. You know what the drill is. I just love to highlight. All right, so the last thing to do is the lips. So for lip liner, I'll be using this short little stubby looking lip liner right here you guys if you've watched me for a while you know that this is my absolute favorite you all know i love a good nude and this is the lip liner that i go for when i want a good nude so this is the lip liner by Rima london in the shade cappuccino it has since been discontinued but after doing a little bit of research i saw that you can pick it up off amazon so i definitely will be stocking up as you can see i definitely need to because mine is just yeah it's been well loved now for an actual lip product i don't have a favorite honestly i just really gravitate towards nudes but i feel like the mac lipsticks are my go-to so today i'm going to be using the shade peach stock which is just like a nudie nude shade that was the dumbest explanation of my life but you guys get what i mean like it's just a pretty standard nude nothing too light nothing too dark I feel like it just goes with my skin tone really well. The thing with this particular shade is that it is a satin finish. So it gives a really nice look to the lips. It looks matte, but it's not super drying like a matte lipstick is. And overall, I just really do love Max lipsticks. I feel like their formula is very comfortable and long lasting on the lips. Last but not least, gloss. This is probably my favorite gloss at the minute. This is the Dose of Colors lip gloss in Undressed. And I don't know why, but I've just really been gravitating towards this gloss. It is a very pigmented and opaque lip gloss, but I feel like you can dab it on in a way that it doesn't look too intense on the lips, which is why I've really been liking it. Alrighty guys, this is the final look. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button before you leave. As always, I will list everything that I used throughout this video down in the description box below, where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys wanna catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, at Facebook or Snapchat. I'm especially active on Snapchat. I snap every day and if you guys want to talk, if you want to snap me, I definitely will reply. So don't forget to check out all that good stuff down below. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowing.